not think that I do not know what you were up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. I am watching you, tree. What is happening? I literally just started recording. Tracks, you need to chill. Groot, you want to talk? Groot, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? Hey, Groot. Is that my toothbrush? Oh. Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> anyway, what is going on, guys? Assassin here with some more Guardian Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, and apparently, I think Drax is threatening people because we need money. So, you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. That's good. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good. Because I'm not either, mostly. <laughs> In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. <laughs> okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, it, it's an earth thing. What I mean is you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. You and I honor our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just looking. Okay. Also, how do I check my gear? Oh, it's tab as well. I guess. Okay, I guess. Whatever. Um. What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So. You here to talk, or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar with the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control. Mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we <laughs> saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scud wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But it made it hot, like okay? being a guardian of the galaxy. Hot. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather, I'd turn you in. <laughs> Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flarkin' fine. Clicky quickly quickly pressing fire weapon twice. Charges a shot charges a shot release to deliver a hit that inflicts both stack and position. Oh maybe I should be on it. That's nice. I like that. Slow time briefly when dodging last second. Avoid falling from a destiny. Encouragement. 
I want this one. Ding, ding, done. And then... Actually, I can't do that. And it's done. Yeah. And then I think I'll probably get the glider. This work is worth more than your worth, Quill. The charge shot is an additional move you can use to deal deal stagger damage directly with your weapon. Okay. Double press. <laughs> Uh, double press and hold to start your charge. Ah, charge shot. Oh. Release to shoot. Get charge shot and click both st ah, stagger and physical. Yeah. All right. Then. Oh my god, not again. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My us, figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will God sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakarot. Uh, Real mature uh, guys. Uh, Let's just hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest and most <clears throat> legendary monster in the galaxy. Shatters the bones of all who go after him. Skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Huh? Glorious death. Out of the question. Well, in that case... You're not selling my stuff! I am Groot. I am Groot. Want to sell the llama? He says we should combine oh. both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. <laughs> He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, oh yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Hey, don't blow up the ship now. Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering <laughs> that, okay? It could work. Sell so, Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? 
How great. How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for oh, not. Shit. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Oh. But am I on a time? Okay, I don't think of time. Okay. Mm. Vote to sell Groot and vote to sell Rocket. Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're going to bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. I'm sorry, Groot, but I... I don't know, I don't feel like Rocket... We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf-9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sure it looks worse than it is. <laughs> oh, before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. We're ready. Next time, yeah. I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Daz? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. But yeah, I feel like Groot is, I don't know, I feel like he's the right choice. He could be not the right choice, but I, I don't know. I feel like Ra Rocket, yeah, he's like scarier, but... Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry I don't know, plants. I feel like we need a more Ooh. convincing one. Paramitar did have a nice forest because it was dry. Woo! Smells like llama breath. So that's where we hit the llama. Gosh. Hey, yum, yum. hey Groot, llama. you think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? Ah, oh, come on, it's only gonna take a tick. I am Groot. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrella. So we need units. What about selling that llama beast? Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. In other circum- They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. 
Don't she like lumber? What about the legend of her mighty Wait, battle axe? Isn't Paramedar where we got a number ambushed of by machete wielding Not all goons. axes are meant to cut. I believe they were hatchet with. The lady won't hurt. Of course, it had to be raining. Okay then, I guess we are heading out. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> oh my god. Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. <sighs> there is nothing to figure out. Either. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't bode so good. Ouch! Hey, is my... Oops. I... Jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord. We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. We will walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Shikari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Blow your worst, monstrous queen. <laughs> Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking rich. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman. And she won't be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. If Lady Eight is so powerful, why does she live on this scut ball? Signoff 9 is her ancestral. <laughs> oh, that was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. <laughs> so we're still doing this? Yes! Oh yeah, we're 
totally gonna meet me. Is everyone okay? We should have gone to Mach 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Eh, you know, when I survive freaking half world, you think I'm scared of some little. Oh! Oh, shit. It's not alone. Get ready. It's cute. Oh, that's a cool man. They keep moving around! Huh. You must be quicker, assassin! Forgot about this. What? I don't know! Don't eat him! Someone get me a look at the door! The outer muck is only a distraction from its nucleus! I was getting bored anyway! Glad we can entertain you! Are incoming! Get back you always in there. on you, Gamora! You must destroy the core! And us with the jelly! Break its bones! Oh my god. Perhaps they these just... were sent by Lady Help! No, I think she's got better things to do. The jelly is charging! With fervor! It is acceptable to ask for help, Peter Quill. Drax with the assist. Uh, I've been asking for help. Someone get rid of the stick. Oh my god. Pin him down, Groot. Watch the spiky things. Don't have to tell me twice. Well, I've done a war path. Next time, you're on your own. What would I do without I you, Rocket? I thought you never ask. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? We need to get to the core! 
Stay away from the smart bitches! Looks like even she's got her limits! Back in business! Peter That's Quill, why I'm here! I would value some assistance! Right with you, big guy! What's next, Peter? Oh, you rocket! Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. Food. They sort of do look like food. Um. So I need two ability points to upgrade. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? Okay, There's a trail doing? going through the jungle. Try to find a way up. <laughs> this husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time, when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of the world. Peter, get moving! Drax is having an existential meltdown. Okay. What does your magical mask reveal? Give me a second. Oh wait, there is something. Hey, Starpants, see anything we can climb on? Not really, but maybe if we cleared the gunk off the side... Shall I rip it apart, then? Let's go easy if we can. Keep in mind this old thing helped win the war. No spells, shoot stuff. Words to live by. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Ah. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Yeah. Great. We made it halfway up. I'm going to get ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. Need your expert skills again, Rocket. I keep forgetting. All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone. Damn it. Watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Monster. What's she 
tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. Sir. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. Place is a flark and maze. All those trees look like like giant strings of saltwater taffy. What? What's taffy? <laughs> it's sweet and delicious, and it melts in your mouth. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Or hidden body. I'm, uh, I'm going in. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... I saw a suit, and I'm getting that. I'm gonna die! I'm actually gonna die. Oh my god. Giving up, I'm not losing on that loot. Careful, looks like something big moved through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws the size of tracks, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. Mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. No, just try to stay ready. Oh, my God. 
Gonna die. You guys are taking an action. I'm not even able to do anything. Exploring Quill, cause uh, I'll talk to you in a, literally a second. Hold on. That's nice. I think I'm more in the uh, group tomorrow. I really need to talk to you. I forgot one second. Oh, thank you. What exactly do you think you're gonna find down here? 
What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this whole selling group thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got. Well, he's the only one who's accepted me for me. Groot offered to do this. And if Gamora offers to tell a joke, you're just gonna assume it's funny? Not sure I get where... Th I'm saying Groot ain't built for scheming. He ain't no monster. We don't know that. It's obvious. Maybe to you, but three out of five of us think he's monster enough. So give him a chance. He knows what he's doing. Fine. Have it your way. Come on, the sooner we get to Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. They must be out on the hunt. So, Gamora, I'm in love with you. Are you sure you want to get lost out here? Peter Quill. I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? Thanks, Drax. No. Good enough. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure I already checked around all, all these people here. I am eager to experience Lady Helbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> There's further proof that we are not welcome here. <laughs> Turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go anywhere. Good for Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. The depressions are deep. This thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. <laughs> Uh, even with Groot? Okay, maybe excluding Groot. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. <laughs> My name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience, we'll have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who called me Harlot Spawn as Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it first. What about her sister, Nebula? Hmm. I forgot about the blue harlot spawn. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a harlot. Right, right. That, too. <laughs> we'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Being a drag got the same idea. Drag to see any fucking loot, I swear to god, you pick it up fucking crazy. This place is a flarkin maze. All those trees look like uh, like giant strings of saltwater taffy! What? What's taffy? It's sweet and delicious and it melts in your mouth. And looks like a tree. And it is made of salted water. No, that's just the name. Uh, well, where'd he go? Hey, Quill, you out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. I'm searching for sequels. This one's freakier. Jungle is majestic. And everything's trying to kill you, sort of way. Sure. That is precisely why it is majestic. 
Chase our prey. Peter, we're going this way. What makes you so sure you picked the right path? The harlot has direct knowledge of technography and forestry. Yeah, My Gamora. knowledge isn't direct. Wait, it ain't? I simply use experience and observation to deduce that this trail must lead to a settlement. Well, I'm not reassured. Take it or leave it. I have no idea where I'm going, I'm completely lost. Wait, now I'm con oh my god. Now I'm wondering if I missed something back there once. It's like an assassin. Let's get back to the damn thing. See? Man. Ooh, what do we have here? Just I found a thing. Give me a minute. Isn't this literally the cave we were in? Oh, my God. <sighs> okay. You guys, I know you guys can say it. Uh, Can I not stand up here? Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your oh face! God. Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of forking sharks! How will we cross? Don't face Look the around, we'll find another way. Not use brute to just, you know, make a bridge. Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch it. Okay. What's Chitauri uh, Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Over there? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, ah, and it was among the spoils. It would be easier to throw a rodent. No, it would not. It breaks a leg. It would still have three. Mm. No one's throwing rocks. Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter? I do. No, the statues are not watching us. Do not be so sure. They say Lady Hellman has eyes everywhere. Of course they do. Here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah. There's nothing down there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. You do know that aimless shooting isn't gonna scare the monsters away, right? Hey, my shooting's mm -hmm. not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Yeah. Heroism. Hey, I found more ruins down here. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? Oh, shit. I may have angered them. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good pep talk. <laughs> Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? What's oh. up, people? Oh. Incoming! <laughs> Fucking monster things! Everyone get ready! Team. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. Carried? By whom? For what purpose? I thought you were supposed to be the Lady Hellbender expert. There was nothing in the pamphlet about statues. Oh yeah, that's the bridge. Yeah. That bridge isn't the only thing, Shatari. Some of these statues look familiar, if you catch my drift. If these mouth breathers worship monsters, maybe they'd have seen space bear and bugs and gods. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. <laughs> Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. She possesses flying creatures. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Seknarf Nine. Ha, that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. I love how we're just teasing Drax. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? My 
problem is Meathead trying to huck me over a cliff. You are overreacting. I did not throw you. I heard that you, and there should be once no you kill her, five, you. ten more kill her. He's like invincible. Gamora, am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her yeah. jungle. Her. Does she know? An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships. Or one Chitari infiltrator. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. <laughs> we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what the hold up? Here. No. We're just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and plan B. Just go. No, you just go. And go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because That's I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. <laughs> Easy does it. Shrek! I'm walking down! <gasps> what the oh. Oh. That's the beast. The group says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, oh, my God. Yep, definitely saw the giant head. Oh, ah! Ah! Gamora! Gamora. Oh my God, I love you, baby. <laughs> Catch. You're welcome. Oh. Don't get fuck. used to it. Peter Quill! Um, we are not alone here! That's a... Yeah. I Dude. got it. Nope, nope, no, fuck. I keep accidentally hitting the damn button. Oh, behind you? <laughs> Friend or foe? Guys, anyone know what that is? I'm guessing foe. Yes. A monster! Ah! Oh. <laughs> some enemies some enemies have multiple health bars as indicated by uh, by markers above the gauge. When you deplete one bar, its marker vanishes, revealing the neck. Once all markers are gone, the enemy last health bar appears. Well, he ain't eating us! Ow. Slow down! It is pacifying my blade! on this planet not trying to kill us it's a monster eat monster world <laughs> yeah, i don't think it does tricks rocket can't find Shrek. a good spot to stab it in trap him up bud i see that sword you don't stand a chance I shouldn't have wasted that, should I? We're killing it out there, Quill. You see the look on their faces when they see me razoring down yeah. from on high? <laughs> or the ones they make when they realize Groot's got him tied oh, up in a bone. I know. <laughs> Never thought I'd say this, but fighting with you guys is fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, 
I get that it's all bubbly and sparkly out there. We're blasting shots at them and it's so much fun. But if we lose our focus, if we can't let go of these crazy thoughts spinning us upside down, we're done. Who's with me? Victory is ours! This is gonna be fun! Feel him? Is anything on this planet not trying to kill us? Hey, it's an east west counter thing. It's all right by me. Call to action. If your momentum gauge is active, a call to action prompt may appear during combat. Press it to trigger a special guardian attack. Successful call to action will leave anime crippled. <laughs> Aw, Stumpy's running away. Huh. That its tail between its legs. <laughs> I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. And it is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Uh. This wreck is so rusted out, you can hardly see the blue. Long time since the war, and this place is all kind of wet. Perhaps your magical mask can relieve us of this senseless searching, Peter Quill. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Uh Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Hey, Quill, mind giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. If you want to shoot that thing down, you're going to need a better angle. She is right. Your shooting is terrible. My shooting is not terrible. Then why is your target not falling? You need a better angle, apparently. Guys, the creature we fought is still out there. Are we gonna do something with that reactor unit? Damaged reactor will make a poor weapon against that creature. Well... No explosions, Rocket. Boring! Don't leave me hanging. Gamora, you know your ships. What about that loose unit up there? It's covered in fungus. We probably could knock it off, but not from down here. Also, I I'm not the one with the gun. Ain't gonna work, Quill. Things all gunked up at the very top there. Your trajectory's all off. Okay, so how do I fix my trajectory? You gotta get up higher somehow. Is climbing not your area of expertise, assassin? Sure, just find me somewhere to climb. What about here? At this rate, by the time we get there, Hellbender will have moved on from Monster Collect. Yes, I am obviously being sarcastic. I'm just saying it shouldn't take this long to get to her. I am being constructive. This is how I motivate. Well, it's clearly working. I hope you're not just messing with me. Here should be good. Will do. Oh. So, are we going to drop that reactor unit or what? If you are feeling impatient, I could always throw you. Touch me uh. and I'll shove a smart bomb up Okay, here. okay. Reactor <laughs> unit. Got it. I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right. Pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, 
I get some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. Had a few run-ins with Nova oh, Rocket? Yeah. More like run from <laughs> These things can turn on a dime. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. <laughs> what next, if you will? Maybe this Hell Lady is some old war hero that can get Nova off our backs. I wouldn't bring up the war. How come? Those of us who took part are not eager to relive its memories. This brings back memories! Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I am Groot. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops, here we come. Uh, you know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. <laughs> we are not committed to safety. What? We're safe-ish. Swamp hole to be fighting over. Over there. As you wish. Okay. Perfect. Thanks, Drax. What purpose does it serve over here? You'll see, you'll see. Just be patient. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. Fortress. Nothing over here. Okay. Oh. No. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Maybe someone was trying to fix up the old bomber. Rocket, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. One tick, done. Can't craft that, Quill. <laughs> so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. They didn't fear many back then. I'll check it in a moment. What's Captain distracted up to now? <laughs> She's up to now. <laughs> if 
If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. So interesting. Let's all stick our fingers in. I can hear you Fuck down you. Wind. I can hear you down wind. Come on, guys. We're a team. Let's all work together. Blah blah blah. Fuck you. I just want material to you Okay, here we go. Oh, slimy. Uh, guys, you might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam, boys? You think? Son of a schmack, breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, and fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, <laughs> do something! Like what? Flark, Flark. flark. <sighs> Well, <laughs> oh. oh, it's the power I got. Hell yeah, boy. I didn't know what to do. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, that was, that was kind of confusing. Gotta be honest. Like... <laughs> oh boy, that would've been so epic. <clears throat> oh! Slimy! Uh... Guys! You might want to wait to come down here. Oh yeah, we got that, uh, that stone. That's, that's awesome. Oh, why the flark is so deep? Oh. <laughs> you jam, boys? Yeah. You, you know think? what I mean. We got the power for this stone, huh? Some smack to breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, and fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Flark, flark, flark. <sighs> Well, What am I supposed to fucking press? I swear to fucking god. This is the dumbest fucking QTE I have ever fucking had to do in my life. Slimy. Because uh, like the other QTEs nice. with the mouse, once you get it in green, you know, oh, it's pressed out. But with this fucking piece of shit, you're just like, okay, do I press it now? Oh, no, he's fucking dead. How about now? No, he's fucking dead. When the fuck do I press it? I don't fucking know. Uh, the sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? I've been down to do something for the last fucking five tries. Quill. 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 
I'm just gonna press the immediate on this. Assassin, I did this on my first try. I was able to fucking do this shit the first night. You're just bad. I don't care, okay? I don't care about your fucking being good at the game. Okay, I don't wanna fucking hear you. In a jam voice? You think? Son of a smack breach! Sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sticking in jelly. I just here. wanna get out of this well, fucking jail. Do something! No like what? Clark, Clark. <sighs> Quill. Quill. I don't know. My blast is a... I only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scut like this. Mm -hmm. Hey, come on, you just... Please, the let guns me, alone! Me, I, I, well, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys! DNA caught in the next couple with some kind of morphing nano Sorcery. Here we go again. That was great. One second, just on amateur. Elemental. Element. Element shots. You can now. You can now equip blaster element shot. Ah, Press one to equip the ice shot. The ice. Oh. The. Icon above an enemy's health bar indicates the, weak the weakness to an element. Element gauge replenish over time and ammo are dropped by defeated enemy. Ha! It's an ice cube! That's fun! We're so happy for you and your guns, Quill! <laughs> Let's not stick around! What's the deal? Can we actually hurt these things? Smack his insides! Just some better life advice! Do you suppose that puddle was their brethren? Oh, come on! Let's go covered in this stuff! Wondering why we don't just destroy the core. We're 
close, but we're gonna need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. It would give us some steps to climb. Worth a shot. Wonder if we can get any... Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is... more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in place. Couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You, Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. You gotta find a way to lock it in place. I, I cannot hold it forever! The thing doesn't want to aim. Why will you not yield? Because it's attached to a recoily thing. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. No. Drax, can you try again? Succumb to me! Fiendish machine! Your will. Use your weapons of sorcery. Perhaps it will help. I'm no. trying! It doesn't want to fucking... I have it... been bested, Peter Quill. There's gotta be something... Drax, can you try again? Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. So I don't have to come close to Group, can you reach in there or something? What do you mean I should do it? Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shatari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. <laughs> and I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. Are you okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Oh Relax. God. Just going to reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Clark it. I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on. Think about all the booby traps in... Ha! Look at it go. He must have jump-started the thing. Rock, you okay? <laughs> yeah. And dry now, too. Down here, if I weird. never see another one of these ships again, it'll be too soon. On that alone, we are agreed. <laughs> Gamora, can you clear us a path yeah. through that junk? <laughs> sure. Yes, Peter Quill. Onward to the palace of the great giantess. Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Lady Hellbender gives us impossible, impossible task once all crashing ship cleaned up. Does not want Chintarian and resistant junk in her in, in her fortress, but there is so much and beasts move in, plants tingle and 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 what about rage? Bridges ugly, but bridges work. We take down bridges, put put them where after. Maybe we anger her. Maybe she punishes us, but who will move junk if she if junk moves killer killed by bees? Maybe she she doesn't she didn't, she doesn't think about this. Maybe she doesn't care only about bees. <laughs> yes, their heads are ridiculous. Sounds like an ass. Oh man, oh. another murder tentacle. Careful, it might be playing dead. Whoop. Why does it not attack? Perhaps it is dead. Poke it and find out. Very well. Hang on. What if it's sleeping? We don't want to wake it up. Yeah, must be a whole lot of 
of hideous on the other end of that thing. Broodmother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? You're a cool dude, Groot. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, I know you volunteered for this, but I want you to understand that I don't really think you're a monster. I mean, you're super tall and intimidating, and I think that's why this is gonna work, but I think you look freaking awesome. <laughs> I, I guess the rest of us must look pretty weird to you, huh? I am. <laughs> that better not have been a comment about my hair. I love Groot. Shelter yourself behind my buttocks. Where did you guys go? Uh, employee evaluation. Did you pass? That's confidential. I don't get the Lady H appeal. She's a glorified zookeeper for the worst planet in the galaxy. She's just another crime lord. She is much more than that. She fits many of the Katapian ideals. Let me guess. Muscles, monsters, monsters with muscles. We don't even know what she looks like. I used to believe that the road was an impressive firearm. I'll learn if I do. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. Mm -hmm. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever. <laughs> oh, you guys are assholes. I love you guys. to know how Will's guns can just make ice out of nothing. You don't have a clue, do you? Well, let me take them apart to find out. Everything okay, Peter? Yeah, just, you know, turning water into ice. Go on. <laughs> I sure hope that buttless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell us. Got a baby for a I took an appendage. What did you do? Hey, that thing is like seriously bruised. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it just keeled over and died somewhere in the jungle after all that damage I caused. You think it died of excessive bruising? I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? <laughs> Scout type stuff. Scouting. Looks like we uh need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. Thank you. Shouldn't we at least have a leash for our to, monster? To There's usually out. some acting involved in this kind of infiltration. Lady Hellbender is an astute buyer. Either she will want what we are selling, or she will not. Mm, I'm with Gamora on this one. Looking the part is half the bat. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> you are dead! Dead! How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. <laughs> Just be a lesson to you. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Letting a measly Chitauri installation stop our progress is unprofessional. Then stop wasting time arguing. We'll find another way across. Guys, I'm... One second. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, Got something here. Sorry. <laughs> it's deep. This looks promising. 
There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where are they coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, not talking. Not even breathing. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I won't break this. That is disturbingly fragrant. After you. <laughs> oh god, so, oh god. I am clenching every this is right so now. disgusting. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? <laughs> that kid. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> oh my god. Peter! Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got monster food. On your taste, but the cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you You're whispering? It? Oh. Uh, pet the tentacle thing. Gamora thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety as leader. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, frick. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Stumpy's back! Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Think they're trying to get their cage back? It was not even their cage. Okay, okay. Get him. Get him. Sorry, don't be squid mutt. Uh, how many times have I saved your butt now? Oh, thanks, buddy. 
shot at someone else. Let's roll this thing over. Cause some real damage. I am wounded. Hey, Quill. I think the big guy sees us. This is how it's I am done. in your death, Peter Quill. Barely a flesh wound. You'll be fine. My great strength goes underutilized. This one mocks our every effort. smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I will smell like butt with you. Okay, um... Uh, Seknarf ain't never heard of roads? You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Seknoff 9 is a sanctuary. I I say that if you leave it. behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you in a most hey. unpleasant way. <laughs> that can't be true. Mm -hmm. oh, great. Groot says we should check things out over here. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth it. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. <laughs> so if we're gonna haggle with the monster, how much are we asking for our monster? Oh, I got the... What do you mean, no, We're running a business here. We need to make hey, a talk this time. Hey, well, better not forget what we talked about. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Yeah. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady A? We're gonna fight a monster queen? She would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her Ooh. adversary. <laughs> if all goes well, oh. she's gonna be our business partner. Holy sh right, Groot? <laughs> Bruh! What is this? Groot, what the fuck? Five horsemen of the apocalypse, I agree. Wait. Group. Group's been telling telling me about recruiting night, nightmare where he's fronting evil. The rest of us too. Like instead of guardian of guardian of the galaxy, we're the ones destroying it. I can see. I can't see him, see him ever being a part of something like that. I wonder what he'd look like if he was. Holy, that's a dope ass. Yeah, you being Groot is exactly the problem. Holy shit! <laughs> it's so crazy. That thing heavy, Quill. Surprisingly light. 
if we put our monster in it, will he shrink as well? Uh, no, it would compress anything inside to a mound of twitching gore. <laughs> nee. Don't get any idea. my top 10 fortresses. Got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. Whoa, what the fuck are those down there? So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Halbender has an accident? Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Yeah. Let's just get this done. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flark in infinity bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Look at Grid in the background. <laughs> so Three Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you? Oh! Right! The cage. Right. The point of even getting the flark and things looking like we mean business. Group. You ready to squeeze in? Peter Quill. There's still time now to that's answer. definitely a terrifying Stop monster monsters. she'll want. I didn't hear what he said. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your yeah. safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. <laughs> I agree. Oh, he's so Not terrifying bad. with that skin! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, here we go. Good to soothe and tones. And they have been traveling for 20 years trying to get across this bridge. 
Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we could sing to kill the time? Oh, oh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait. Is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. Oh my god. 0 0.2 clicks. Oh god. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. <laughs> Oh god, I'm having flashbacks of my mom. Thirteen whole years. <laughs> Look at you. Okay. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. <laughs> okay, so we're getting out of bed again. Hope mom wasn't joking about seeing Star Lord. Yeah, if they ever decide to play out here in the boonies. Okay. Did I just activate my visor as a kid? It's like, oh shit. Yeah, we already checked. I'm just checking around, seeing if there's like new dialogue or anything that I already saw. Or anything that I missed. Let me just check. Oh, wait. Oh, we didn't check this. I didn't see. The final battle was awesome. The Looked like the heroes were done Star for, Walker. but they pulled it off. I feel like that's the name of a movie that I'm, I know, but I just forgot. Pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Perfect. That's that's what my mom said to me. <laughs> oh no, not again. <laughs> it's good. Need to build up my calluses. Yeah, you already said that before. And then this is our friend shit that, yeah. And then oh, I didn't check this. The movie was okay. The, game, the soundtrack okay. really kicked butt. I check this. Death Trap. No, I already checked Death Trap. Might scared. as well just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. Well. I can't believe I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. Okay, hopefully. Oh, we actually can walk out. It's not, it's not darkness anymore. I'm not walking in. warm enough to spend abyss. the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Gonna do the thing. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you. Slowly taking over. Yeah, I know. Crazy. Almost like there's a thing called a baby. <laughs> I 
Admin server. This is gonna be so cool. Showcase cinema. Don't know what that says. That's a creepy picture though. Now showing at City Center Night of the Cosmos. Hmm. <laughs> Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, <laughs> sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Bro, that looks like an amazing cake, not gonna lie. It looks so good. And it's Pac-Man, bro! I like your singing. Yeah. Well, you might be the only one. You had the best birthday ever. Go and make a wish. Like, You're officially a teenager. I mean, other than, you know, your dad. Okay, I'm sure. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, did, did. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Did I press it? I don't know. What? Even. You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls I are going to fall I wasn't expecting to press that button. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just what? 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the real tonight. did he get in a fight? Why does he have a, a, a movie. black eye? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. <laughs> Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. <laughs> You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff, or some of it, tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. Yeah, Peter. You obviously shoot your way through your problems with your blaster guns. Not. I mean, what? Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. <laughs> okay. I should make you clean your room before you leave. Please don't. One day I'll have to get down there and just throw everything out. Shoot! Mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. 
I'll do it first thing in the morning. Uh -huh. Scout's honor. Sure. Sure you will. That's what they all say. I left the gift on my bed. Oh, I thought you said outside. Maybe I'll go get it, and you can finish up here instead. Don't you dare touch that dial. Uh, I'm fine, Mom. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Hmm? Leave that alone. Oh. I love it. Uh, Look, it even has your little handprint on it. Boring. So, <laughs> just looks that book. Boring. <laughs> like, mom, why are you reading books? The longer you wait to get that gift, the more likely I am to change my mind about the movie. No way. You wouldn't. Try me. Got to remember Whoa, to give this to Andy later. With the boy. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the We're Star Lord chilling, patch on his jacket and I gotta too. Impress my girlfriend. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. <clears throat> I want you home right after the movie. Can we stop by the arcade for a bit? Keep pushing your luck, Mister, and you won't be going anywhere. My pants didn't do much mm. better than my eye in that fight. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? Yeah. You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. Hansel stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for grandma and grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Oh, good boy. You know, I was talking to Janie's mom the other day. Uh, here we go. She's a lovely girl, Peter. She listens to disco, mom. Oh, yeah, crap. mom, you wouldn't miss Night Rider. She listens to disco. I guess I'll just have to wait for you. She doesn't look and listen to Star Lord like me, mom. God. You never understand my life. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. I don't know why I'm making, making him sound like an emo kid, even though he's really not emo. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Damn, look at this bath, bro. This bath is pog, honestly. Meanwhile, I have to fucking go outside and take a bath out in the mud. Gonna have to get mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Yeah, Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Uh, uh. Dance says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Sure, it'd be nice to believe there are other worlds out there, but what are the odds? Pretty slim, I bet. Sky's clear. Wonder if mom will spend the night stargazing since yeah, I'm heading to the moon. Yeah, what are the odds of there being this, like, space things in space? Imagine there's, like, a group of fucking idiots out there calling themselves the Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, honestly, like, kind of funny. Sometimes grandma and grandpa would let me sleep with them. Why did you say that? Too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it.
Let me check in the closet. Maybe mom. I miss them so cocaine. much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Ah, there's the present. I know it sounds crazy, but mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? Maybe. Oh, uh, back into the abyss. Mom, you didn't get nothing for my birthday. You lied. Huh? We have arrived at the Mustard Fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat scut, Woberry. <laughs> and I mean, I know what I'm agreeing to, but... Just for everyone else, can you explain that again? Uh, after we sell Groot, we sneak back in and use my tracking device to find him and bust him out. Oh, yeah, that. Uh, easy peasy. What could go wrong? We're going to find out. Oh, hi. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer. Whatever. Must be a way to do that, boys. <laughs> Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid one. Tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. <laughs> what? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's like got a no name? Name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen a Warthos tamed. But I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. <laughs> yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. I stand correct. Those ain't she. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chased across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! Holy shit. It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. Peter Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug! What's the matter, Rocket? Relax, uh. Rocket. We've got your tracker thing, right? Uh, don't exactly draw us a map, Quill. It's more like a, a hot warm sort of thing. You mean hot cold, right? What? <laughs> the Galeran skull. Is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. <laughs> I am humbled by my queen 
I know what you meant. Do not play me for a fool. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. Uh, We got this. Super badass. I mean, not as badass as Gamora, but still pretty badass. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of him. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. The undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Oh, God. Hmm. Back step I thought was. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. <laughs> oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. Oh. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite... Oh, oh, oh. she's gonna eat it. <laughs> Peter Quill. Yeah. I believe she is flirting with me. Yeah, she is. Play along, man. Flatter her or something. <laughs> you got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. Oh. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. A Flora Colossus. I thought your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. Twenty thousand units. Twenty thousand? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. Twenty thousand units is sufficient compensation. No. No! Oh, what? What do you mean, no? I mean, no. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Hey there, hi, Star-Lord. Again, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Trax was just messing with you. 10,000 units would be more than enough. The amount I demanded was not a mistake. 
Don't you think 10,000 is a more reasonable amount, Drax? I do not. <laughs> He's, he is just kidding. 10,000 units and we'll throw in a coupon. Enough! If oh. I wish to hear Kerr's whine, I'd visit the feeding pens. <laughs> 9,000 units for the Flora Colossus destruction. That sounds so good, honestly. Yeah. 9,537. Oh Track, shut up! We have a deal going here! For the cage. <laughs> deal. Oh, okay. The storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be... Thank you. with a Sicknarfian beast handler. Mm. Confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throat room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Oh, they're heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. My best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax! Oh my god. What part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter oh Quill. My god. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. And don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare in scuddy father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Huh? Once we ditch this place, I will show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Hmm. Okay, well, I am actually going to end off the episode off. I'm going to end off the episode there. I hope you guys did enjoy. In the next episode, we are going to go and uh, I guess we're... Apparently it's we're gonna go and save group, nothing. so I hope you guys look forward to that. Anything. Other than that, that's gonna be it for me. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys. Peace.